What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Jared here with Almost Sense, back with another video for you guys again. So definitely thank you for tuning into the channel, but let's skip all that subscriber talk and let's get to the video. So oftentimes I'm watching cologne videos or fragrance videos and people are talking about late in this, late in that. It's great for compliments. Women love it. Everyone loves it. So I said, I need it. So I looked it up online and then closed my browser. Um, the price of Layton is a bit steep. A while back I did order a decant or a sample. It smelled amazing. <clears throat> so then I went and I purchased, I believe it's called Rich Obsession from Central Obsessions, which is their clone or dupe of Layton by Parfums de Marley. And smelled pretty good. Got some compliments in the club. You could say I go out a lot, so a lot of the fragrances that I wear and test get put, get test runs and actually have um, <clears throat> evidence behind uh, a lot of these claims. So Rich Obsession wasn't bad. So I'll say I like the DNA, I like the smell. Very vanilla heavy, very spicy, rich smelling, decadent almost, but not quite like Layton. Then. I saw on YouTube a couple reviewers were talking about this hideous bottle called Detour Noir. Now, before I get into anything about the fragrance, this is potentially the ugliest bottle in my collection. It's tied with this, which is Pepe Jeans Celebrate. Just a quick sidebar, the bottle's ugly. Now, let's get into the juice. So, <clears throat> it's from Al Hermain, which is a fragrance niche brand to where they make their own fragrances and renditions, whether it's clones, I'm pretty sure they have originals too. Mm. All right, so let's get into the notes. Up top you have almond, jasmine, cypress, in the mid, you have amber, cedar, and heliotrope. So off top, you get that jazz and the heliotrope, which kind of blend together to give you a freshness. <clears throat> I'm gonna give it one spray right now, one in the air. Whew. And one on my OMO test strip. Light, airy sweet, a bit floral, inviting. You have to have this fragrance. Now, I'm gonna, I am got sidetracked there. In the base or the dry down, you have vanilla, musk, and sandalwood. So very inviting, a very warm, sweet, spicy fragrance but also at the same time light and airy so you can pull this off in a couple different climates so seasons for this one i would say maybe not in the high heat of summer and spring but any type of evening or fall or winter where the where it's cooler outside is definitely ideal for this so how close would I say it is to Layton? In my opinion, I would say about 90%, 90 to 95%. The way that this, this smells like it costs $175. Now, earlier I mentioned the outrageous price of Layton. I'm not sure what it is at this time, but they just ran a sale, which was half off. So I said, fine, I can get it. At half off, it was $200. I wasn't able to get it. So this is definitely, now at the time that I first purchased this from fragrancebuy.ca, as soon as I smelled it, I started texting my friends, texting my friends, I was getting ready to send them the link, but then it said sold out online. So I will put the link in the description, but it could be sold out. But from what I've heard online, it does restock quite often occasions for this date night date night date night clubbing 
casual. Wouldn't probably wouldn't wear it to the gym. Probably wouldn't wear it to work. It's a bit flirty and yeah, it's it definitely gives off a different vibe. I mean, I guess depending on where you work, but I probably wouldn't wear it to work. The sillage and the projection, pretty in line with Layton. <clears throat> Staying power is about six to seven hours. Projection is pretty good as well. I've definitely received compliments. Uh, I, got, I got one odd compliment I guess I'll share. I was in the grocery store and I was walking through an aisle and I walked past a woman and she made like a mmm. So I turned around and probably the strangest compliment I've gotten in a while. Cause she didn't really say anything. She just was like. <laughs> so yeah, on one hand, I was pleased to be receiving a compliment. Uh, on the other hand, I was a little scared, but, <laughs> but thank you. So this man, is, this would be a compliment beast, compliment magnet. It smells just like Layton. In the air, <clears throat> the richness, the quality of Layton is hard to be replicated, but this comes damn close. This is a 100 mil bottle. So even if you do have Layton or you do plan on getting it, you could maybe layer them or wear this instead, because I'm pretty sure it's not hard to run through that bottle because it is such an amazing fragrance. Now, notes that are not listed that you will catch up catch immediately once you spray it or kind of throughout the wear is cinnamon and apple they're not posted on fragrantica in the notes but they're in there some sort of apple some sort of cinnamon spicy sweet i heard someone say it smells like an apple fritter and it it it, it really does so that's really it for this one Go get it. Go to the link in the description. Go to Amazon. Go to FragranceNet. Wherever this is available, you heard it, you heard it here first. Go get it. Other than that, have you smelled Layton? Have you smelled this? Thoughts, comments, likes, dislikes. Other than that, you already know what it is. It's your boy OMO. Peace.